When veterinary practices ask, how can I combat misinformation? I wish I could say it's as simple as, always say this and never say that. But every situation is unique and there are strategies to help. One approach to counter misinformation is to say, here are the websites our team trusts. But when you go to other sites, ask yourself these questions. Who authors the website? What are their credentials? When was the site last updated? And is the site delivering objective information or merely marketing a product? If it's obvious that my client has embraced a piece of misinformation regarding their pet's diet, I use a three-point strategy. First, I share my understanding about the topic in question. Next, I say, if you make this diet change, these are the potential risks. Finally, I frame my recommendation using three components of a nutrition assessment, which takes into account a pet's profile, its current diet, and the feeding management in its home environment. For example, I might say, based on everything I know about Fluffy, I don't see a reason to change her food, but if you're determined to do so, I'll want to see Fluffy again in two weeks after transitioning to the new diet. We'll talk about how she's doing and if you've achieved the outcome you wanted, and we'll document Fluffy's progress. By using this approach, I'm not dismissing the client's wishes, but I'm also not supporting a questionable decision they're about to make. Instead, I've registered concern about a risky choice while also demonstrating real concern for their pet, and I'm getting them back to the clinic. For starters, why not designate a champion for combating misinformation? Ask the staff who'd like to be our resident expert and who can we refer clients to? A champion should receive continuing education in nutrition and, if needed, additional training in effective communication skills, like how to ask open-ended questions to better understand clients' issues and concerns. Maybe the champion could even do some blogging on the clinic's website or create handouts. 